The Kentucky Association of Sexual Assault Programs has recently released a documentary to highlight the healing journey that survivors have gone through. And joining us today with more on this is Melissa Quillen with the Kentucky Association of Sexual Assault Programs and Laquisha Moore with the Center for Women and Families. Ladies, thank you for joining us. Such thank an important you. topic that so we've much. got to talk about. Mm -hmm. I know last month, April being Sexual Assault Awareness Month, I feel like with this documentary kind of out now, I'm interested to see what the reaction has been to it. And, and do you feel like more people are coming forward to have this tool as a vehicle to, to have this, this tough conversation? Yeah. That was absolutely yeah. the intent um, with KSAP putting the documentary out and we have been overwhelmed with good responses, um, people having seen it, people uh, emailing and texting that they'd seen it, um, newspaper clippings. Uh, I think we've had a really, really good response um, and of course the reason for that is to allow people to understand that we are a statewide service. We have 13 local rape crisis centers that cover all 120 counties and there is hope and healing for all victims of sexual violence across Kentucky and we're here to try to um, meet them where they are in, in their journey, people who have experienced any type of sexual violence so that they can find their way through some of the most traumatic things that can happen to people. And Melissa, before that, kind of like putting together the pieces in the documentary, people may have not even realized, you know, what KSAP was or that you existed or that exactly. you offer those services. I think sometimes in knowing, oh, that's where I can go mm -hmm. is it provides relief and opens a door. And that's what we're so hopeful of for people. Um, KSEP has been around since um, 1990, um, and we have been providing services. We don't provide direct services at the coalition level, but we provide uh, technical assistance, support, and just uh, all uh, you know, backing for the local rape crisis centers across the state. Mm -hmm. On our website, uh, which is www.ksep.com, org. Um, people can find the map with all of the centers and where they're located and what counties they cover and many, many other resources. There's also a link to the documentary on our mm -hmm. website. And of course, we've had Center for Women and Families on so much, I can't even underscore enough the services you all provide and, the, and you've got a, a really unique partnership. How did you get pulled into this and the documentary and in your role? So for me, I uh, joined the Access Healing Council that was recommended to me by Elizabeth, who's the CEO of uh, yeah. the Center for Women and Families. And then they offered uh, us to be a part of the documentary. And I just wanted to do it because um, I think it's so important to eliminate shame when it comes yeah. to sexual violence and for people to feel comfortable telling their story. Um, I think that that's one of the things that uh, our, that type of violence doesn't get enough coverage, you know, people uh, kind of don't, you know, it's like taboo to talk about and I want to remove that so that we can get more justice and more healing. And there's a breakfast coming up, breakfast uh, for brilliance. Yes, and the how breakfast can, for brilliance. how can the public be involved in that? How can they support that? Um, they can support that by going to the Center for Women's uh, website and actually buying a ticket. It's $25, um, which gives them a free meal. Well, not free, but it's 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 not that bad, okay? It's a good meal, and for $25, you get to be in the company of other people who are empowered to yeah. create change in the lives of victims. And it's so important so that we could, uh, it is a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. So being able to provide services to the public for free, we do have to have overhead costs and staff salaries and all of that to pay for. So we need those if funds. That is probably the best spent $25 you will ever spend to not only help a family, mm -hmm. right, but I think being in a room mm -hmm. uh, and to be able to network and realize, oh, we offer that. Or, we, or what can we do? Absolutely. I'm always surprised when I go to events like that, you realize, yeah. oh, why aren't we working together? Yes. <laughs> you know, and, yes. and what can we do to come together and, and help other people? Um, and where can people go for more information just on, on both groups and the breakfast? Yes, the Center for Women, uh, the centeronline.org. I believe it's our website. I think so, yes. And then also ksap.org. Yes. KSAP, you can view that mm -hmm. documentary uh, as well. And I think that's just a wonderful way, again, to start a conversation. It's so hard, but it's like, for some reason, with documentary and the visuals and a conversation with that, it, it makes it feel like, yeah, it's okay for me to say something. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. The documentary is called We Believe You, and that's what we want to be there. Yeah. To mm -hmm. allow people to understand. We do. We definitely, yep. we definitely do. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. For stopping thank you by. for having me. Uh, for more information, just go to kasap.org, ksap.org, or thecenteronline.org.